So now we do just what we did with the intervals. Now instead of identifying the chord, we're going to build them given our root note. So first we start out with A diminished. We've got our A already on there for us. Okay, and the first thing that you do, because we're still in root position, everything's going to have the snowman format, right? So we've got these notes here, A, C, E. Okay, we know that that's some sort of an A chord. Now we use accidentals if necessary to make it what we need it to be. Okay, so if we want a diminished chord, we want two minor thirds on top of each other. We have an A, we have a C, and we have an E. Let's see how close we are to start out with and then adjust from there. A to C we'll find is a minor third. So, so far so good. Okay, and then a C to an E, if you look it up and do your work, you'll find is a major third. So right now what we have is a minor triad, not an, a, a diminished one like we want. In order for this top interval to be a minor third, we have to turn this into an E flat. So let's add our flat over here. And now we have an A diminished chord. Let's see if you can do the next one on your own. So we want a B major chord. Let's do what we did before and start by making that snowman. One, two, there we go. And throwing in the note names that we know we have. We have B, D, F. Okay, if we weren't looking at any of this, let's check our key signature. Um, the current notes that we have, are any of them apply? Oh, yep, yeah, this is actually an F sharp based on the key signature. Okay, so let's look at what we have. Currently, B to D is a minor third. D to F sharp is a major third. So when we look back at our, at our cheat sheets, we figure out that this is actually a B minor chord, not a B major chord. We need the bottom interval to be a major third in order for that to happen. We need this to be a D sharp. So there is your B major triad. Let's go on to the next one. This time we're looking for an augmented chord. An augmented chord has two major thirds stacked on top of each other. Let's get the snowman going here and see what we got. We have C, E, G. It looks like our key signature affects our C sharp. Okay, this is what we have. Now, this asks for a C augmented chord, not a C sharp. Okay, so right away, if it affects your root, this root has to match. So this bottom note has to be what you see in the chord. So right away, we need one of these to get rid of that. Okay, so now we have the root correct. The root matches the name of the chord. Now we can only adjust these top two to make it work. So right now, C to E is a major third. E to G is a minor third. We need two major thirds stacked on top of each other. So what we really need is that, okay? So we add our sharp and you can always go back and double check once you've added accidentals that you think you need. Um, you can always go back and check C to E, E to G sharp, make sure that it's two, uh, two major thirds stacked on top of each other and you're good to go. Let's do two more. Okay, so A flat minor, I did not include the bottom note on these, you're on your own. So we want the bottom note to be an A, or A flat. So we throw that one in there, make your snowman, make a triad, okay? And we want that bottom note to be an A flat. We look over here and we see that there is an A flat already in the key signature, so we don't need to add a flat there. This note is good, your root matches, we're good to go. Now we just need to go through Right now, in the key signature, you have these notes. Without us adding any accidentals or whatever, um, these are the notes that we have. From here to here is a major third, and from here to here is a minor third. That's a major triad. We're looking for a minor triad. To go from major to minor, you're going to have to lower that third, right? This has to be a minor third. So. <laughs> that was a funny sigh from the dog, in case you were wondering. So we have to add our flat here. 
A flat to C flat is a minor third, C flat to E flat is a major third, and we're good to go. Last one. Let's give you a shot to do it on your own. This one we're doing without a key signature, so no problems there. We're gonna find our G sharp. Probably should have written this a little bit lower. Let me see if I can put it over here. There's your G. Let's make our snowman. We want this to be a G sharp so that it matches the name of our chord. And we want it to be a diminished chord. Diminished chords are minor third stacked on top of minor third. So we have a G sharp, we have a B, and we have a D. From here to here, we have a minor third. Check, good. We need B to D to be a minor third. Check, it is. So you're good to go. This is your G sharp diminished chord.